All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. Again, we're doing this with a very simple palette. Now, paint, still painting our teddy bear. And I love teddy bears, and that's why we call it paint from the heart. Guys, paint anything that you want. Have a ball. It's yours. Nobody else's. Do what you can with it and make it look like what you want it to be. We need to let this bear dry for just a minute. We've got to get a background back there. You know, teddy bears, probably one of their favorite times of the year is Christmas time. Let's put a Christmas tree back there behind him real quick. Again, we're only using three colors, red, yellow, and blue. Very simple. Uh, Christmas tree is going to be green. Let's grab some blue, grab some of that yellow, mix those two together. Man, what do we get right there? Let's see how this looks on canvas. Oh man, that's a Christmas tree color if I've ever seen one. Let's get a big old tree back here behind you. Gotta have, gotta have a Christmas tree. Let's bring that tree on out here. Oh, he got a little bit on his ear. Shouldn't have done that, but I did. We'll straighten him out in a minute. Tell you how to do that. Mm -hmm. Grab your brush. Let's take it back off. Yeah, we don't have a green air teddy bear. But it could happen. Probably could happen. Maybe when it's making, they might have got some green on it. But you know what? I'm not really worried about it. Because I've got painted all around behind him. I'm going to get a little bit over it. We'll put that bear back on top of that tree. I'll just paint into him just a little bit. So that tree's back there in the background. You know, he's sitting in front of that tree, so I'm not really worried about the let's get him, let's get that shaped in there a little bit. Cut that into him. Let's see a tree has all them branches going all different directions and just big crazy strokes on there. We'll need me some more blue, a little more yellow. Grab me a mess of yellow, throw it in there. Get that on there. Let's get right in there. Let's cut it right into there. I like that a little bit darker. Don't be afraid the color don't have to be exactly the same. That's going to make it look more tree like, more realistic. But it's been flat color. Just keep those strokes big and wild. Like it's a crazy old tree back right there. And that's about as far as, well, I'm going to bring it on down. We'll, we'll put some I'll paint into it. I just want to get some get it covered right now with Christmas colors. I'm gonna bring this all the way down to here. That green's a good Christmas color. And let's get some more of it out here. Bring this tree limb was on out here on this side of him. Go right now inside of his head, up inside his ear, and just stick it out there. Christmas trees sure are pretty neat. I love Christmas time too. I'll tell you what we're going to need. I'm going to grab a little bit more of this blue. I need some dark green. I'm going to put that blue in here. Darken it up. Just give me some more. See how it darkened it in that tree? You got me some dark in there. Get this part covered. Just to give me a different, little bit different color in there. Especially out here on this lighter canvas. Let's see, there we go. Get a couple of branches that look like they're sticking out there. So you just kind of scrub it in a branch shape. That's the way them branches are. That kind of looks like a Christmas tree back there in the background. That's what we wanted it to be. That's what we were going for. It's back there in the back somewhere. And I'll tell you what, let's see what we can do next. We got him sitting there, we got all that green sitting there, and I'm gonna grab some of this red. Just plain red, mix in with that green, and kind of get just a tablecloth color, or a floor color, or maybe a, uh, you're sitting on a, that little cloth that Mama puts under the Christmas tree and set all the gifts on every year. That's just that red and that green kind of mixed together, so you're letting it blend together a little bit. Something again, or just covering the canvas. It's something to paint into. Let's get that on there real good. Get them something to paint into. And I like that. And just scrub it on there. Get it on there. And see how that shadow kind of stood out right there under there before we painted earlier? So he's kind of sitting stay darker right in there. And more again, I'm gonna grab some more of that red. 
come over here with it and just kind of mix it in on top of that green we were using. And so the green came from mixing the red and the blue together. And so now it just kind of, the red's not so stand out that it's not just a plain color paint that came out of the bottle. This is, this is our mixture, our color. But that's that, that's that little thing Mom puts under the tree every year that she sets some gifts on. We ain't done the gifts yet. We have to put some gifts in here probably. We want Mom to think we didn't get nothing. Have some more of that red. Let's get that going in here. Then we can make that kind of look like a, a cloth going back in there. Went up behind him there under the tree. It's going to give us something to paint gifts on. We've got a fold coming in here. And let's keep that. There we go. We want them sitting in there on that. Mom's little thing under the tree. I don't know what they call it, a neighbor, probably. But Mom's going to set gifts all over that thing. It's just giving us something, some, some Christmas colors. I'm going to grab a big bunch of that yellow right there. See if we can't put something in here to give them some gifts or some toys or something back here, kind of in the background. To, let's put a box. That's going to kind of carry off and it goes up behind him a little bit. Bring that box right down there. Right over there. Where the sun's hitting on top, where the light's hitting on top. I won't be sun inside the house. So we got a gift going here. If we got that green, we use it for a shadow. So we're just trying to get the shapes where we want them. And when I've done that, I probably want to have a bow going around it on top of that gift. There's, let's make the bottom of the gift down here. And back in here, we're going to lose some of that hard color. Just the shadowed side of that gift. We're just putting paint on anywhere. While we're trying to develop the shapes that we want this gift to be. There we go. That'll be the ribbon. And on top of that, we'll put a bow. We'll make that work. So I'm using wild colors right now. We're just kind of playing with this to get this on here. There's our. Yeah, let's get that gift back in there. And we're going to see if we can make this turn out to be something. Besides just mud. We don't know. Now there I've got my yellow going. Well it's definitely gonna take a little bit of work. But we're getting there. And we're getting there. I can set that down. But we're following we are. We've got a background, we can start to throw some gifts in here. We'll see what we can do with this teddy bear. Y'all come.